At William Valle, I thought they got boned by a drunk driver, those effers talking about a blowout. And we in here talking about practice. <laughs> so I'm guessing because the comment was about wrecking the bus. This guy's mad that we didn't wreck the bus. We just had a blowout. But let me tell you, I didn't realize that you could have, like when you have a blowout on a bus, it is a wreck. I didn't know that when I bought the bus. Why to reconsider buying the bus? <laughs> At Magdump says, my God, thank God it wasn't a radiator hose. I don't get it. It's probably because I barely know what a radiator hose is. At Pup9892, only a blowout? I thought a propane tank exploded or an 18-wheeler T-boned then. A grown man emotional over a flat tire? Okay, again, this guy probably has never driven anything beyond his Civic. So yeah, you're right. When you have a blowout in a Honda Civic, a grown man probably doesn't need to cry over that. Also, a grown man really doesn't need to drive a Civic. Okay. At Bernard Dim... I can't print whatever that is. LMAO. Tire blows from owner neglecting to inspect <laughs> tires. Shit happens, Bubba. As long haul driver with millions of miles under my belt, this should teach you a lesson. Check and replace tires from dry rot. Yes, thank you for the wisdom after the fact. <laughs> Hindsight's 2020. Also, we don't even have 10,000 miles on this bus and the asshole salesman told me that the tires were new and I wasn't driving the bus, I own it. The people I had driving the bus do and did check the tires every single time they put the thing in drive. At Corbin Young, 6979. I'm sure he's full of wisdom. Sure, it was scary, but a single tire blowout on a three axle or dually on a rear axle is not that dangerous. The wiring and cosmetics are easy fixes. Bro, it was the front right tire, not the rear tire. We're well aware that a rear tire wouldn't have been a big deal. The other piece to that is get a whole new set of six tires for that bus. None of that old sun checked or dry rotted shit. Also check your damn tread and pressures. 100% all tires have been replaced. And I thought they were replaced to begin with. Salesman lied to me. I should have double checked. Easy fix. Well, if it was an easy fix, I don't know why I'm paying or the insurance is paying 30 G's. Uh, it's a $30,000 insurance claim. I don't think it's an easy fix, Mr. Know-it-all keyboard warrior.